intentions, please withdraw the bill. I oppose the bill full. Thank you. Next speaker, Harshwardhan Singh, Dungapur. Thank you, Deputy Chairman, sir. Sir, India resembles a rich embodiment of diverse ethnic, linguistic, geographic, and religious and demographic characteristics, sir. So with more than 1.3 billion inhabitants, today India is the second most populous country in the world. And in other words, close to 17% of the population resides here of the world, and every sixth global citizen is an Indian, sir. So as per the latest United Nations population projections, India is expected to surpass China by 2024 and shall become the most populous country with a population of 1.6 billion populations by 2050. So I stand here and I speak definitely to support the bill. And these are some of the main reasons. The provision of the basic necessities of human life, including affordable food, and safe drinking water, decent housing, access to quality education, economic livelihood, opportunities, power, electricity for domestic consumption and secure living. So given the limited resources that we are seeing today, so the, this bill is even more important, and especially there's, a, there's going to be a huge shortage of quality drinking water in the future, sir. So also, the rise in population will have a huge uh, pressure on the natural habitat and our wildlife sanctuaries. So already we are seeing more and more arsenic and fluoride in our water. Climate change is a reality now all over the world. There's a global warming. So also there is less food production due to the Ukraine war, sir. And Russia and Ukraine produce 30% of the world's wheat. So, uh, secondly, so I would say that India's population has increased fourfold since independence. Uh, so, the, the average uh, population growth rate of 2% per year is, is what India is going through. Infant mortality rate has come down, but which is a good thing. So with that, uh, we are having a rise in population. The death per thousand has also uh, is better now than uh, uh, when there was independence. So the, I would like to in, uh, make an important point that a certain community, uh, they think uh, it's the divine right to procreate. And, and they have a religious mandate to have more children, sir. So that women have a higher birth rate and they also practice polygamy at home. So this is not good. And I, I certainly uh, support the views of my uh, previous uh, speakers that we need to uh, check population of certain communities and in certain states like Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. And I can tell you that John was talking about um, in Kerala, the Muslims have a lower birth rate than uh, the Hindus in Uttar Pradesh or whatever it is, but there's a lot of difference between the uh, Muslims in Kerala and the Muslims living in other parts of the country, sir. So with that, I'd like to thank you. Thank you. Next speaker, Shri Vishambhra Prasad Nisar.